hello and welcome back so guys now from this video onwards we will start adding the touch controls to our mobile game as you can see right here we have some of the touch controls right here already set up okay the next button previous button skip and play button but the main thing is the car controlling buttons okay we will add that but first of all right here click on this windows then go inside the package manager and in here we have these packages let's go inside the unity registry we will need to add a package which is by the name of device simulator but it is a preview package so for that okay inside the unity registry you will see this gear icon click on that then advanced project settings in here just inside the package manager turn on this enable preview packages and then click on i understand okay so now as you can see we can see all of the preview packages as well and here is the device simulator you can also search for it and then just simply click on install and as you can see right here that preview packages are in the early stages of development and not yet ready for production this package will take a minute or two so you simply wait for it okay it is installed and now right here at the top it shows that preview package in use it means that now this project is using the preview package and now it is installed now right here you will see this game option and then this simulator option click on the simulator option now as you can see we can play our game on the apple ipad fifth generation as you can see right here so if we play our game on this ipad as you can see our game will look like this if we click on skip here is our buttons okay we can select between different cars and as you can see it is not in the landscape mode so that's why our car was not showing properly and also our main scene as well as you know that our game is for the landscape mode only so let's click on this rotate okay now as you can see it is in the landscape mode as you can see let's play it again now as you can see it is showing everything correctly let's click on skip and now we have the cards right here okay for now let's just select the iphone 7 plus okay we will select this small device and test our game on that device okay now if you play the game as you can see the buttons are aligned correctly as you can see now if we select this car and play the game as you can see here is the game but now if we try to run our game as you can see on the keyboard inputs our game now just doesn't play because now this needs the mobile inputs okay on the garage scene our mobile input works as you can see we can click on skip we can click on that buttons as well as you can see we can click on play but now the next thing which we will be doing is adding the mobile touch controls right here so that we can then play the game so we have added the simulator now in the next video we will add the mobile input so catch you guys in the next one